Thank you. You can stay. <laughs> oh, yeah. This game's good, man. You can stay, Eric. I like you. <laughs> anyway, uh, moving on, it's another. We're going to talk about another mobile game, but this one slightly more interesting simply because it shocked the hell out of us at Apple's iPhone oh, 7 yeah. event. Super Mario mm. Run coming to iOS this holiday. Uh, Shakir. What? And this is the part that blew my fucking mind because I was sitting watching this keynote, just like, you know what? I'll, I'll check out what Apple has to say. I'm, I'm a keynote junkie to begin with, so I'll watch this. Shigeru Miyamoto walks out. And I'm just like, 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 and Tim Cook announces, like, fuck? ladies and gentlemen, Sigiro Miyamoto. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> and they just yeah, start freaking Twitter out. Twitter was like, what? <laughs> like, exploding. So we're all looking, like, thinking, like, what is he going to announce for this system? And then all of a sudden, he starts talking about Super Mario Run, which is a runner game, but is Super Mario. And to be fair, I mean, for those of you who don't know what runner games are, runner games are basically just when the character is free running, like, you can't control them, they're just moving. You have to either like press a button or you know move the iPhone or throw it in the air or something to make the character jump or do some shit. I don't know. Um, but for this one, you just have to tap the screen and Mario jumps. Uh, basically, and, and honestly, Miyamoto had a had a decent reason for it. I mean, it is a mobile game, and he says this is for people who are on the subway and have a hand on the gu on the guardrail and they're just holding the the phone in their hand so they can press the button and have Mario jump. I totally get that. Um, am I saying that like I'm not slightly disappointed that it's not like a full-fledged Super Mario title? Yeah, but I understand why they're making this. I think this is a brilliant move. Oh yeah, it is. Know. Like like as yeah. far as like for their company, yeah, yeah. Well, I because think. like think about app, the phone market, right? It's full of games like this because it's hard to p like if you put a Super Mario game on the mobile market, you would need some sort of tactile way to control mario so you, you they probably had those yep. invisible buttons or some shit which is always the worst yeah they you know, suck. there's only a few games where that even works at all so yeah. i think if you're going to approach making a mobile game you need to do it intuitively that is uh meant for the platform that it's on i think it's a big deal that uh, apple had shigeru miyamoto over there obviously uh it was a good smart deal and i don't think samsung would have been able to do it obviously apple's probably one of the only companies who could court somebody like to miyamoto fair, over samsung's there. not doing a lot of anything right now yeah, they're just the phones. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the I had I had a Note Seven, by the way. Yeah, yeah. It was, and you turned it in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I returned it immediately. Yeah. I was just like, yeah, you yeah. should have. <laughs> but honestly, that, that's that's a really good point to bring up because uh, that phone was supposed to carry Samsung over for the rest of the year until their next the next uh, normal Galaxy phones launch. Yeah, now it's, and uh, they yeah. have a market dominance over Apple at the moment. Yeah, so with Apple coming out. Now, I don't know if Apple's really going to be making it because people are making jokes about the headphone jack and all that sort of shit. Yeah. So who knows if this is going to be really the catalyst that changes that. But it is important that like Super Mario Run being on that platform, I think, is a really good hit That's for, big. Yeah. for Apple. Yeah. And, and I think it's a good looking game. Like I play a couple of runners. Uh, it looks so, fun. Yeah, I think it's designed smartly. If you look at like just the tiny little glimpses they've shown, it, they're, they're developing stages that look like Mario stages, but like adapted for the fact that you were not be able to control your own speed and stuff like that right. so your taps and stuff are going to essentially be what's important in the timing and everything like that so it's going to work almost like a rhythm game which is how you know most sort of endless runners eventually work out to not that it's yeah. you know based to the rhythm of course but I, i've noticed a couple of things too there's like some of the screenshots have like little progress bars which makes me think maybe there's some sort of like other mechanics other than jumping like maybe there's a way to slow down time or like you know, Maybe. not saying that Whoa. that is. Or you know, that might be game, like, uh, like uh, if I was gonna make Mario. if I was gonna make a Mario Endless Runner, I would try to think about how to do things that are like with swiping that could give me other like maybe Whoa. if you swipe to the right or left it does like a little spin move or something i, mean, and I think maybe they're probably gonna those, you know? they're probably gonna implement those like super power things like the tanuki suit and the fire probably. mario and probably gonna have yeah, like, a, yoshi, like a yoshi button yeah. or something i mean you know. the all you, what you can really gauge from this is that uh to me when i saw this announcement that was this was the first sign that nintendo may be starting to get it yeah <laughs> and uh you know maybe the nx will actually be okay uh <laughs> but who knows but also uh i was the other thought i had was this is gonna make a buttload of money Fuck and yeah. if if anything when nintendo releases this i doubt it will be a run-of-the-mill endless runner it will definitely it's definitely gonna mm -hmm. have some sort of like it's gonna have some kind of special secret sauce that like the Nintendo like Nintendo I games agree. you know have. So yeah. I, I'm people. There's a lot of you know naysayers out there who are like it's an endless runner. It's like I don't know if you've not played an endless runner in a while, but it's a pretty fun genre. And 
if anything, Nintendo is going to make an endless runner that is like probably way better than the rest of the stuff on the market today. I not, it's agree. not going to be like, you know, just some, it's, it's not going to be some random thing that like on the app store. This is going to be like a quality product. And also it's not a free to play game. That was going to mention. Uh, yeah. It's a single player game. It. That's yeah, pretty it's cool. Like four bucks or something. Yeah. I'm into that. I uh, I don't think they said, but I imagine it'll be less than five dollars because most... I wonder. Um, this is a random point, but like I've always thought that because uh, young, young, young kids, like little babies, are playing games on like tablets and stuff like that, that they're not really growing up like with the the IPs and the brands that we have. Right. So I think it's really important for Nintendo to really get out there and put Mario on these platforms and make games that like young kids can play like on their mom's iPad or whatever. So I think this is a really good move. I, I want to see more of this sort of stuff. Yeah. This is going to be interesting. And apparently didn't even know, but apparently they're making an Animal Crossing and a Fire Emblem game for phones. Yeah. And I was like, what? I you can play that? Animal Crossing on my phone? It's like, that is amazing. I can't wait. That's so cool. I mean, they got I mean, delayed. We'll but see. the fact that but, they're yeah. even making them is so exciting to me. So I don't even know how Fire Emblem's going to work. I don't know. I've never I played a Fire Emblem game, so I assumed it was a lot like Advance Wars. Yeah, it's yeah, the essentially the same. Studios. Well, then, yeah, it'll work fine. <laughs> no, I mean, like, is it going to be like a triple, like triple A styled with a heavy narrative and stuff like that? Oh, uh, it's like Fire Emblem uh, games have big stories and stuff. Honestly, I don't want people. I don't want games that tell me stories on my phone. I just no, I don't get either. through stages and. But with like Mobius, yeah. Final Fantasy, and Xvius and stuff like that, like there's a space for games that try to go that route. So I don't. Yeah, know. I, that, but that's why I stopped playing that Mobius Final Fantasy game because they kept breaking into cutscenes, and I'm like, can't I just grind like characters? <laughs> that's kind of all I wanted to do. Yeah. Which is yeah. grind characters and see the flashing yeah. lights. Yeah, and, I like, agree. They're experimenting, them, but you know. Yeah, that's besides the point. Yeah, but Super Mario Run. Run. This is cool. Jenks. Yeah, I'm into it. <laughs> all anyway. that cocaine. We okay now we're even. That's fine. <laughs> That's my cue to change topics. Okay.